Hello guys, I'm Yusaku here, and today we're going to be talking about the Yu-Gi-Oh! Varanes episode 20 cast list and summary, and the brief summary we got for episode 21. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the summary for episode 20 reads, Akira manages to drive Playmaker into a corner, however, Playmaker fights back with everything he's got, performing multiple Link summons in a row in order to turn the battle around. Akira and Playmaker then proceed to duke it out with their ace monsters, Tindangle Acute Cerberus, and Firewall Dragon. Our cast for the episode is going to be as follows, you have Yusaku, AI, Kusanagi, Aoi, Emma, Akira, Revolver, Dr. Kogami, Kitamura, and Extras. So a couple interesting things, primarily in the cast list portion that I want to note there, but before getting to that, we need to go over our episode 21 summary, which reads as follows. A new battle begins, is our episode title, and then Yusaku and Kusanagi analyze Soul Technology's data and discover some new information about the incident 10 years ago. Meanwhile, at Yusaku's house, AI and Robopi are secretly plotting something. So the basic summary for episode 20 does doesn't seem to have anything too unpredictable, at least in my eyes. You've probably got your basic straightforward duel happening between these two. You know, their ace monsters are about to duke it out, but that's more or less where we left off in episode 19. Firewall Dragon was on the field, and Acute Cerberus was on the field, so nothing too shocking there. What's more important, at least in my eyes, in, is in the cast list, where we have Dr. Kogami and Revolver both making an appearance within this episode. So, if we note at the end of episode 19, basically what Akira says is, I know who is behind this incident or at least I know who was at the helm of it with that being said it implies that he was probably about to drop a name for Yusaku given how you know that we were in the sort of storytelling aspect of Akira where he was revealing what he knew about the data and everything else and what he had picked up about this whole incident 10 years ago thing after Aoi made the appeal to him in episode 19 being like hey brother I want to know what happened too as your sister please tell me proceeded to do so and he left off about to drop a name it seems given how Dr. Kogami, we already know, was somehow involved in the AI, and responded during Yusaku and Revolver's duel when Yusaku brought up stuff about 10 years ago and listed th the three things and such, it's pretty much given to us now that Dr. Kogami was probably the one behind this, given how he has all kinds of power within Varanes from what we've seen, and this data bank seems to be within Varanes, it's very possible maybe he makes an appearance himself, or maybe he sends Revolver in, given how Revolver makes an appearance here, or maybe we get a flashback to a past scene with these two that explains things further in some way as well. Regardless, I think this basically guarantees the link between Dr. Kogami and the incident 10 years ago. He was somehow involved with it for certain, and if he was involved in it, it's probably somehow tied to Ignis, given how we had that flashback 10 years ago to um, Revolver and Ignis in episode 1. So I'm venturing to say that the incident was somehow creating Ignis or somehow was like dealing with, you know, handling them or learning how to control him or something along those lines. I don't think we can say for certain at this point, but I think the connection between Kogami and 10 years ago is almost undeniable if he's making an appearance here. I can't think of too many other logical reasons why he would, though if you can think of one, be sure to let me know. Then we have Revolver, so the question is going to be, what is he doing in this episode? Is he acting sort of as the body to take action for Dr. Kogami, since Kogami doesn't seem to do a lot of field work himself, more so like be the mastermind behind things, almost sort of similar to how Kusanagi acts for Yusaku. He stays behind the computer, gives him hacking support, those types of things. But, you know, that still leaves us with the question, what is Revolver doing? Is he jumping in and interfering with this duel? Is he correcting some information? Or is this just a flashback scene? We'll have to wait and see. Either way, I think it's going to have a heavy reveal about these two in the, this episode. Heck, for all we know, maybe now we'll have some more information about if, and if so, how um, Revolver and Kusanagi are related, since a very common theory is that Revolver is Kusanagi's brother. Now, this brings us to episode 21, in which it talks about how Yusaku and Kusanagi are analyzing the data from Soul Technologies. Now, most people definitely read this as Yusaku wins the duel, he gets the data from Akira, they go back and analyze it. I think it's also possible that after discussing the events from 10 years ago, maybe they end up like, you know, it's possible, I guess, that Akira still wins, and then between Aoi appealing to him and Yusaku appealing to him, he decides, okay, you deserve to have this data anyway. Now, given how the episode 19 preview is basically saying that both Akira and Yusaku, like during that narration portion, are seeking justice, but each in their own separate ways, I don't think that's going to happen. I think as a result of, you know, them not necessarily wanting to cooperate and handle this information in the same way, that Yusaku probably does win, as that seems to be the best explanation for how he manages to get the information, but other outcomes are certainly possible, and then we get the fact that at Yusaku's house, AI and Robopi are secretly planning something. Now, 
I had thrown around a theory a while back in one of my reviews that maybe eventually we're going to see the Ignis turn against Yusaku. Because Ignis, if we, from what we know at least, seems to have lost his memories from 10 years ago and is very, like, in the dark about what happened to him and what was left, given how, you know, even when Kusanagi's analyzing things, he gets these really cut off clips. It's possible either Ignis is hiding his memories and really does have them, or the more likely possibility, at least in my eyes, is in fact that he has lost his memories. But if all of that's recovered in this, you know, episode during the duel between Akira and Yusaku, or at least parts of it are recovered, maybe he can start to draw some conclusions. I've thrown around the idea that maybe in reality, Ignis's mission was similar to that of the Baryans, or at least the process he's going to undergo is similar to that of the Baryans, specifically Shark and Rio, in that they've taken a human form, suddenly they have their memories back, and boom, they end up on the other side of whatever's going on. So I think it's possible that after having recovered these, you're going to see Ignis start to work with other AIs, including Robopi, who has already been sort of working to manipulate to some extent, and have them turn against people like Yusaku. Maybe Maybe after gaining these memories, Ignis realizes his true mission and turns back on Yusaku, much how once Shark regained his memories, he turned on Yuma. Once Ryo regained her memories, she turned on Yuma and Astral and all of the others. I don't think that's definitely the way they're going. It's also possible that, you know, um, the AI slash the Ignis has a totally different idea on how to approach what's going on than Yusaku when he's planning his own thing. Maybe he has, like, a, his own, like, sort of objectives that don't necessarily go against Yusaku's, but more so run parallel. Or maybe something else entirely is going on. I mean, this could always just be a teaser, too. Maybe he's just messing with Robopi the way he has been that have led to those rather questionable scenes so far within the show. But anyway, that about wraps it up for my thoughts on this cast list analysis, guys. I think this drops a lot of interesting information to start developing some theories around, and it's going to be exciting to see how it plays out. Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed this video, also be sure to like and subscribe. If not, constructive criticism is always welcome, and as always, have an excellent day. I'm